Good morning, everybody. Hello again. It's Miss Kendra at Learn and Play Montessori School. And it's such a beautiful day right now. I think it's going to get a little hotter, but it's really beautiful outside right now because it is nice and sunny. Yes. Okay. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Friday. No, tomorrow is Wednesday. Right? How many days are in the week? Seven. Let's sing our song quickly. Ready? Said. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What month are we in? Still in the month of June, right? And we move forward today. So it is Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020. Thank you. How many months are in the year? Same as yesterday. 12 months still, right? Ready to sing? There are 12 months. There are 12 months. There are 12 months in a year. There are 12 months, there are 12 months, there are 12 months in a year. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November and December. These are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and with cheer, the months of the year. Okay, thanks for singing with me. Before I forget, which I'm gonna stop doing here pretty soon, is to tell mom and dad or my friends, we need some scissors today and some paper to cut. Some scratch paper is okay, some plain paper is okay, just some paper and some scissors. Okay, but first, before we look at that, let's look at some language. Okay, come on over. And I sharpened all my pencils yesterday, so I have so many to choose from. Yesterday, I was looking through all the dull pencils to find the one sharp one. Okay, let's look at our first worksheet here. I'm going to put my name up top. Let's read the directions. Say the name of each picture. Print the picture name on the line. Let's do it. Okay, number one is what? Bed, right? Let's trace bed, just for practice. B, E, D. Okay, and number two is what? A bun, right? Bun, bun, how do we spell bun? B, B, A, uh, A. Uh. You, thank you. Bun. N. N. Awesome. Bun. Okay, let's see number three. This is a log, right? A log. How do we spell log? L. Thank you. A. Thank you, O, and log, G, G, yeah, G, okay, log, G, super. Are these all the same vowels? No, right, these are different vowels now. We're advancing. Mm-hmm. Let's look at number four. This is a rooster. No, a pig, right? Can you tell me what vowel is in pig? Is it A, E, I, O, or U? Pig. Let's see. P, 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 I, I. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be an I. And pig. G, G, G. Thank you. Okay. Super. Let's look at number five. That is a top, right? 
a spinning top, top, a, uh, t, 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 a, uh, top, a, uh, o, uh -huh. p, 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 top. Sweet. And this looks like a tag, right? A tag. T, t, t. A, 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 and g, g, g. Thank you. Okay, let's do one more on this side and we'll flip it over. Take a look at the other side. Okay, number seven is 10, right? How do we spell 10? Good, T, E, N. Awesome, you guys are great spellers. Okay, let's flip it over, see what's going on on the other side. Okay, so here we're gonna be doing lots of reading. My friends are ready to read with me? Good, okay, let's read the directions first. Fill in the bubble beside the sentence that tells about the picture. Okay, so let's see here. We gotta read two sentences and, and fill in the bubble beside the sentence that is about the picture. Okay, number one, let's read the first sentence. One pen is in a box. If we want to, we can do something like this to help us see the sentence more clearly. Okay? One pen is in a box. That's the first sentence. Let's look at the second one. One pin is in a bag. What do we see over here? One pen is in a box, right? So we can fill in that bubble, right? All the way, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in, all the way, right? On any form, forever, fill it in all the way, okay? Number two, that is a bed, looks like. Let's read our sentences. The gift is here in the bag. Huh, that doesn't make sense. The quilt is here on the bed. Do you guys see a quilt on the bed? What's a quilt? A quilt is like a blanket that has lots of pieces put together like this. Lots of pieces put together. So this is a quilt on the bed. We can fill in that second circle. All right, let's look at number three. The man set up the tent. Mm-hmm. Or the men are on the bus. Do you see a bus over here? No. I see a man that set up the tent, though. So I'm going to fill in the first bubble here. Okay? Okay, let's finish the next one later. Let's see what's all the way at the bottom of this. It says here, can you read each word? Put a check in the box if you can. Let's do a few together and we'll finish at home. So this is I, right? I. And R. R. Okay, I can check there. I can read that one. Maybe off, off. No, of, that's of, of, okay. Here, here, okay, we can check that one. Okay, let's finish reading the rest of these at home and I'll ask about them later, okay? Maybe we can read some of them to me in our Zoom. Okay, so let's pull out our next language uh, worksheet. It looks like this. Let's put our names up top. 
Okay, and look at these. They're having a lot of fun. It looks like they're gonna make some tasty treats. Okay, let's read over here. James wants to bake a big birthday cake. He plans to make the cake for Jake. Hmm, I heard a lot of sounds there, a lot of A sounds that were long, right? We did a lot of short A sounds, like bag, the word bag. That is a short A sound, right? B, A, 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 G. So our short A sounds like a, a, a. But our long A, like in bake, sounds like a, a, right? B, a, k, a, a. So not a, that's short. A, short, a, long. Okay, so let's practice here. Bake has the long sound of a. Circle each picture whose name has the long sound of A. Number one, what is that? A delicious cake, right? So when we hear cake, is that a long A or a short A? K, A, A, A. Sounds like the letter A, right? Cake, that's long. So we can circle a that. Number two is a can, can. Ah, ah, n, ah, ah. Is that long? No, that's not. That's short, right? If it was long, it would be cane, right? Let's look at number three. Mm -hmm. This is a cane, right? Can, cane. So our cane has the sound of a long A. We can circle cane, cane. This number four is a pale, ale, ale. That's like right in the middle. Um, but I'm feeling like it is long, right? Yeah, okay. Pale, pale, totally. Circle that pale. All right, let's do one more together. How about 12. What is that for? That's a rake, right? I'm gonna clean up the yard, clean up some leaves. Rake. A, A. Yeah, that's long too. Let's circle that. Okay. You guys practice this, and I'll practice too, okay? Super. Let's turn it over and see what we got going on here. Say the names of the picture in each row, color the picture whose names rhyme. More rhyming. Okay, let's see here. Number one, I see a cake. I see a pin. And a rake. And a lake. A lake. So let's see. Cake, pin, rake, lake. Cake, rake, lake. <laughs> okay, that sounds like these three all rhyme. Pin does not rhyme. Let's color our cake, then our rake, then our lake. All right, cake. This person really likes blue. All right, and this is a blue rake. And water in the blue lake. Okie dokie. Let's see, we need some red rose on here. There can be a red handle over here. We can give that sailboat little red sails. Let's see, any other colors that we need? Purple hills and purple frosting. Cake, rake, 
lake. All long A sounds and all rhyming words, right? Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at number two and then we'll jump over to our reader. Okie dokes. Number two is a, a gate, a tray, spray, and hay. And hay. Obviously, right? Okay. Gate, tray, spray, hay. Did anything rhyme with gate? No. Tray, spray, hay? Yeah, those all rhyme. All right. We have some yellow hay, even though it looks like it would be really dry because it's not connected anymore. It's all dry. Let's see. And this will be some brown <laughs> spray. And friend and tray. And it came in a pink bottle. Okay? Beautiful. Okay, let's finish our rhyming words later. And let's take a look at our reader. This one I think we're going to do really quickly because this is like some review for us, right? Let's do this. This is a pin no or this is a pig a pig right yeah it is thin it is fat he's looking not so thin he's looking a little fat cute circle that one okay let's do one more on this page then we'll flip it over here we go. Nip bit the pig. Or nip hit the pig. What is he doing? He's biting that pig. Nip. Stop it. Bit. Let's jump over to the next page. Cover your answers. Nip is having quite a day, I think. Nip bit a bat or hat a bat right yeah okay let's do one more tab bit a fish or hit a fish he bit it right bit well it looks like the fish is hitting back next all right good luck to those friends okay let's finish this later and take out our penmanship. Where's your penmanship? We got it. What vowel is this? Oh, right. And what's my name? Miss Kendra. Okay, let's start with our cursive O up top. And we're going to go around and out. Wonderful. Okay, and then our small O starts down low, goes up around, around like regular O, and out to the next letter. Okay, let's try our big O again together. From the top, around, all the way back up, and then out. All right, and our small O starts down here, up, around, and out to the next letter. Okay, let's try a big one over here. All the way from the top, around, and up, and out to the next one. And our small O starts at the bottom line, goes up, around, and out to the next letter. All right? So we can write boo, like, boo, I scared you. Remember our B is all the way up, like our L, but comes back up, around, and out to O. Yeah. Boo. Mm-hmm. All right, my friends. 
Let's go ahead and don't you forget your book report. Let's go over and say hello to some math. We've got some lots of reviewing things today because we've been learning so much. Let's make sure we're remembering so much too, okay? So, you remember what we usually do right now every day? Yeah? And side question, how do you remember these things? With your brain, right? Okay, so let's take those three big breaths and then we'll sit down and do some math. Okay, ready? One, two, three. All right, I'm feeling good. Let's sit down and take a look at our math. So I know we've done a lot of these, so let's make sure we remember these, okay? We have some ordinals here. Ordinals, remember our ordinals? Right, we can say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and maybe where else do we use ordinals every day? We always say like uh, our calendar, we can say today is the 23rd, right? 23rd, 24th, 25th, our ordinals, right? Okay, so let's take out our worksheet and see what our first one is. Mm-hmm, looks like this, you have this one ready? With our little uh, turkeys on the top? Okay, so, our directions say circle the picture to match the numbers. The number. Okay. So we need to circle the eighth turkey. Okay. Let's see here. Let's count. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Let's circle that turkey. Got that turkey. Okay, now we need to circle the seventh fish. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and our seventh fish. Okay, let's do the last one and we'll finish the rest later. Okay, ninth fish, or ninth deer. Antelope, animal. One, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. All right, we got it. That's wonderful. So let's double check how we remember our measuring. So measure each, right? How many inches? Okay. So, let's see here. Our first one is a pencil. How many inches is that pencil? Is it one inch? Two inch? Three? Four inches? This is our ruler right here. One inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, and six inch. How many? Four four inches. Let's see, how about this nail? How many inches is it? You're looking at your paper? How many inches? One? No? Two inches, good. And the next one, the biggest one? How many inches is that? All the way to six, it's the biggest one? No? Doesn't line up there. Yeah, five inches, really great. Okay, so let's finish the rest at home and let's take another look at our fractions. You guys remember our fractions, right? You do? Well, that's great. So I brought some of these materials that we have at school so we can take a good look at these fractions. So 
if it's all colored, right, if all of them are colored all the way, then it's just a one, right? But if we're splitting up our one in half, like this, then we can only color the one side, right? Right, that's just half. But if we cut that in half, right, let's see. We have one, you cut in half, two, you cut half and half, we have four, right? What's, what comes after two, before four? Three, right? And we have our thirds. This one's cut into three. Right? Okay, so let's take a look at our worksheet. And we can see here, this is one half. This is one third. This is one fourth. So let's see here, what is the directions? Color the object to match the fraction. Okay, do we remember that we can color any section or does it have to be one section, one special section? We can color any one section, right? So what is this fraction? One third. One over three is one third, right? One third. Third, what's that? That's the ordinal, right? Third, one fourth. That sounds like an ordinal. Okay, let's color in one third. Can I color in these two? No, just one section, right? Because it's only one of the three, right? So I'm gonna use my purple marker to color in. I want the middle section colored. So one section right here, our one out of three, one, two, three, is colored. Okay, now we need one fourth colored over here. One fourth. All right, does that look good? Yeah, okay. Now one half is the next one, right? Hmm. Just one side, right? Or can I color both sections? If I color both sections, then it's just a whole square, right? But are we just coloring half the square? One half, one half. All right, and one third. Let's color one third. I'm thinking this side. Okay, really great. Let's take a look at the other side of this worksheet and then we'll do some more fun things. Okay, let's see here. Now we're looking at some whole things, fractions halves, right? So this is one section, this is one half. So it's one out of two sections, right? Over here, we have both halves, right? Two sections of the two sections are colored. So two is over two because two are colored, right? And over here, only one. So we have a one on top, right? Mm-hmm. So color the object to match the fraction. Let's do that. One half, first one is one half. Let's color it in. Okay, superb. Let's look at the next one. This is two halves, two halves, right? So we're gonna color in 
one. No, this is one half, right? Doesn't it look like that? We need two halves. We need to color both sides. Awesome. <clears throat> Let's look at the next one. It is one half. Can I color the top? Yeah. Or can I color the bottom instead? Yeah. Either way is fine. Okay, let's do one more. Two of two. All right, so that one's colored and the next one, right? So the whole thing is colored. Awesome. Let's find some paper. Can you guys find some paper? You have some paper and some scissors? You do? Me too. I'm gonna clean up my fraction pieces so that I can cut some fractions out of my paper. So I have this white piece of paper and I want to cut it into some fractions. So I have, what shape is this? This is my rectangle, right? So I wanna cut it in half. I'm gonna cut it in half. Right, so now I have two halves, right? So this is like, I have two halves. That's like here, I have two halves, right? To make the whole thing. And now I'm thinking I want to make it into fourths. Okay, let's see if we can make it into fourths. Then we have to cut in half again. Am I done? Is that fourths? No, there's not four pieces, right? But is it one third? Is it one third? Let's see, there's three pieces here, but when we have one third, right? Like, like this section here, all of the three pieces are exactly the same size, right? So this is the same size as this and same size as this, right? They're equal sections. And when we look over here, this one is much bigger than this one, so it's not equal sections. This cannot be one third, one third, one third, right? So let's finish making our one-fourths. Okay, we have fourths, right? Now let's see, it, we can't turn in half or quarter into thirds, so we can just take one piece and make it into its own thirds here. All right, so here's one and three. <laughs> right? So we have thirds here. Wonderful. Okay, my friends, thank you for cutting with me and doing fractions with me. Let's go take a look at some other things. And then maybe I'm going to have some questions for you about what we learned yesterday. You have some answers for me? You do? Okay, fantastic. Let's Go over to our table. Come on over. <clears throat> Alrighty. So yesterday we learned a lot about our muscles, right? Our big, strong, growing muscles. And we are going to make sure to drink lots of water, eat healthy foods, exercise to keep those muscles healthy, right? Can you tell me what your shoulder muscle is called? Remember this one? Yeah, deltoid. Good job. I'm glad you remember. Okay. And I have a question for you. What is Miss Kendra? 
What is my job? How am I community helper? I am a teacher, right? Yeah, I'm a teacher. And teachers do what? Right? I can teach you things that I know. Usually we do that in a classroom. Or right now, how are we doing it? Online, on the internet, I'm in your TV, right? Yeah. So there's other ways that we can do teaching, right? So let's see, how many, who is a teacher? Can anybody be a teacher? Yeah, anybody could be a teacher, right? I mean, not everybody maybe teach in a school. Maybe you can teach people at home. Maybe you can teach something to your friends. Does that sound right? Yeah, and you can be a teacher too. So let's see, sometimes I'm thinking, how, when was the first school? How long ago was that? And my friends, so long ago. Like, max amount of years you can go back, <laughs> that far back, right? If there were some people, they were teaching their friends always. And some of our first schools used to be in a place where you would go to go to church or to temple or synagogue or somewhere where you go to worship. And most schools a long time ago were all there, right? And now we have our own schools that are separate and we learn some different things, more about like our math and our language, right? All those things that we learn here at school. So I have a couple pictures of some really old schools for you. You wanna take a look at these? Because sometimes some kids in different countries, different areas go to school and it looks different for them. This is a really old one. So this picture shows a man teaching his students. Look at, they only have one table right there and they're outside. I wonder what they're learning. Hmm. And then, Look at this friend here. These friends here are learning outside, right? Is your school outside? No, it's different, right? Your school's inside? Yeah, that's really cool. So there's lots of different teachers, lots of different schools, right? So let's see here. Does my friends remember Spongila? This was a friend that I shared maybe a month ago. We talked about Spongila and she goes to school in South Africa, right? And if we can remember, Spongila gets up really, really early, like so early, like six in the morning early. And she takes a bus ride for two hours. She drives a car for two hours to get to school every day right all to go see some of her wonderful teachers and learn amazing things so that she can go on in her life and be happy and maybe she will be a teacher too right so our worksheets here look like this you have this one i am a teacher right this is how we're spelling teacher okay let's Trace teacher, T E A C H E R, right? Here's our teacher. What is she doing? What is she teaching? Some math, right? What is this? Two plus two is 17, now four, right? We'll give this an answer. We'll pretend somebody answered. Awesome. Okay. And let's see, where does the teacher usually go to work? I work at a school. All right. Let's trace school. S C H O. O-L, school. 
And we can color our school any color. Maybe you can make it look like our school here at Learn and Play Montessori. Okay, don't forget, finish coloring. I wanna see these later. And I wanna just quickly remind my friends that we have a really fun project I don't wanna show you too soon on Friday. And if my friends could find some yarn like this and cut it into lots of small pieces, then we're gonna be ready to go on Friday. And if we don't have yarn, that's okay. We can use some red paper, something like that. So we can put lots of pieces on our project, okay? Our muscle project, okay? It's gonna be some fun art for Friday. So today is only Tuesday, so we have time to get that ready. It's a beautiful day. You guys have fun the rest of the day, and I'll see some of you very soon. All right, you guys have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.